Now, you might think that a foldable glass would be brittle, but this glass is built to last, and it protects your screen from scratches. It's so durable, you can fold and unfold your phone over 200,000 times. Now, every time you fold it, you're not just bending glass, you're bending the laws of physics. Mm, let's talk about this. Okay, so let's get into this. So Zach over at Jerry Rig Everything got his hands on the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now Samsung says that this new foldable phone has a new UTG display and UTG stands for ultra thin glass. But when Zach started kind of testing out the display and poking at it and scratching it, he found that it was scratching at levels that you find with a plastic display like you find on the Galaxy Fold. And basically what he found out is that there is a plastic protective layer on top of the main screen of this phone. And the YouTube channel PBK Reviews did a really detailed disassembly of the screen on the Z Flip where they actually took off that protective layer from the main screen. And you can see where the screen was starting to shatter as he started to peel that protective layer more and more. And so it seems like his biggest gripe is that Samsung is just calling this a glass screen, which in reality is actually made out of glass, but also other stuff that may not be as solid and hard as regular glass. And this is true because Samsung says that this screen needs to be folded and unfolded for thousands and thousands of times. And in order to do that, you just can't use a regular piece of glass. Because if I told you that I could take this glass right here and fold it and unfold it 100,000 times, you know that I would be tripping, right? So people don't expect that, but when Samsung was talking about the screen, they just said the term ultra thin glass. So in my case, I do believe that Zach does have a point here. That I think that in marketing a product and when you're describing something, you have to be as clear as possible. And I think Samsung, I don't think they're in intentionally trying to mislead consumers with this terminology, but I just feel that they need to give it another name. Because if I was to tell you that something was made out of fiberglass, immediately you know that it's not a regular piece of glass. Even though glass is in the name, you will know that it's just not a straight up piece of glass. So I think if Samsung was to give it another name, I don't know, call it the Galaxy screen, the Galaxy glass, or something like that, that can help them in this particular scenario. And so me personally, I do get Samsung's logic here because when you call something ultra thin, I just kind of think it's implied that it's not gonna be as durable as something that is thicker. So for me, for example, if I was to hold up these two jackets right here, and I ask you, which one do you think is more protective against cold weather? you're more than likely going to choose the one that is thicker because most cases you're going to find that things that are thicker are going to be better. <laughs> but I'm not your regular consumer, so I already knew that Samsung was more than likely going to be putting their UTG inside of a foldable phone this year. And we started to learn about this last year with different rumors and reports on different websites. But you have to try to target this towards just a regular consumer who's going into the store, taking a look at the Z Flip. So you have to do your best to kind of break it down as much as you can for that regular consumer. But I also think that Samsung does do a good job at warning you about these new foldable phones. And so when you do open up the box for the Z Flip, you will find a warning there letting you know that this screen is not as durable as other screens. And you wanna be careful with things like your fingernails. You don't wanna poke and prod the screen because as Zach showed off in his video, when you start poking at the screen with sharp objects, it will start to break down a lot of different pixels in the screen itself. So there are warnings on the phone as soon as you take the lid off of the box. And then also when you boot up the phone, there's another the warning screen letting you know how to care for this product. And so with this, it just really makes me feel that Samsung is not trying to hide the fact that foldable screens right now are just more fragile than regular glass screens. But I wanted to do something for this video real quick because a lot of people tell me that foldable screens are doomed, they're gonna fail, and they're being rushed out right now. But I've been using my Galaxy Fold here for a while and I am not careful with it, to be honest with you. Like I throw this thing around, I do all types of stuff with it, I left it on my couch and my dog stepped on it. But I took a microfiber cloth and I wiped it off earlier and I can tell you right now, I really only see a couple of scratches, like very minor scratches, maybe two or three on this screen, even though it's a fragile foldable display. But then I took my iPhone 11 Pro here and I was able to see multiple scratches, some a couple of really long scratches, but definitely a good amount of scratches all over the screen. Now, I'm not trying to say that my foldable Galaxy Fold here and this screen is definitely more durable as far as the screen on the iPhone 11 Pro, but what I'm saying is just because of the mere fact that I can fold it, 
as a built-in protection that I just can't get on the iPhone. Now, I have to be fair though, on the iPhone, if I wanted to, I could put a screen protector on this phone myself and that will help protect the screen from scratches. And then when that protector gets scratched, I can easily peel that off and then place another one on it. But with the Galaxy Fold or the Z Flip, you can't do that yourself. So if your screen gets damaged, you have to send it into Samsung and they will replace it. And so that's the trade-off. But this is something that you as the consumer have to weigh when you decide on which phone that you want to buy for yourself. But again, we do have the whole companies responsible. And I just think that Samsung just really needs to change the name. Don't just call it a regular thin piece of glass. And I think that would help out a lot. But then also too, as consumers, we have to hold ourselves responsible to know that, look, if I'm buying any type of phone and I don't want it to break, I have to be a little bit careful with it and actually learn a little bit about each device before I buy it. So anyway, these are just my thoughts on this whole scenario. And so we'll see how all of this plays out. And my Z Flip should be arriving today. So I have some more coverage on that coming very soon. But what do you think about all of this? Leave your comment down below and also make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.